doing a, something slightly different. Instead of doing an insight on the human collective, I'm going to be doing an insight on those who are watching this video and will watch this video. The, the intention for this video is going to be messages for those who are and will watch this video or hear about it, and as well as the lessons of the next 30 days for them, as well as the blessings for the next 30 days. So, let's go ahead and see what the people who are and will watch this video, let's see what they need to know. Alright, so let's pull five cards for that. So you have woman, key, child, the sun, and moon. Very powerful energies there. Alright, so the woman's... Ah, okay. So the woman's key, so this could also be the emotions, the emotions, the feminine energy, what you magnetize to you. So what you magnetize to you is key to your new beginning of blessings and a different reputation, right? This can go many different ways as well. So that's what I love about Lenore Ma. So we can also look at it this way. This can be the the feelings, the intuition, the emotions. The key to that new beginning and rebirth. To me, this feels like changing your everyday thoughts, right? So, um, if we were to be hooked up to, say, like a lie detector test, right? You know how it goes like this and on the paper and you can see when someone's lying based on their heart rate? If we were to plug ourselves into one of those machines and carry it with us, and it measured the vibration of our thoughts, a lot of us, just based on how we're born, how we're brought up, nature and nurture, a lot of our thoughts are low vibration. Okay, What this card is encouraging you to do is to raise the vibration of your thoughts. Okay, So whatever that is for you, whatever if you do affirmations, if you do chakra work, if you do yoga, um, if you do like ritual sun gazing uh, is another one that came to me, um, even shower mantras as well in the morning. Putting intention and energy into everything you're doing is going to be able to shift your perspective of yourself and also your reputation with other people. Okay, so the key is light. Okay, the key is light. So working with that source energy. Your emotions will have new beginnings. And this is due to the moon. Let me look into this. Now, this feels as though the emotions will have new beginnings in regards to the new shift of your own self-identity and the reputation you have. But this also feels like answered prayers. This feels like answered prayers to me. Um, or if you're sending energy out, it's what's coming back to you, right? So, I'd look at that, I'd look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and do one more layer on these cards here. Okay, we have the garden, which has a lot to do with community. The ring is about dedication. Fish is abundance, money, etc. We have birds. This can be gossip or talking or ill chatter. And then we have the bouquet, which is uh, gifts. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this sounds sounds like marketing to me, right? Getting getting the word out there. So, having in the in regards to the community, having a dedication, and then the, will lead to an abundance of talking, which will lead to gifts for you. Okay, so get involved in the community more. It's going to lead to a place of gifts at this time. All right, so now let's go ahead and just look at what lessons are going to be manifesting themselves, uh, either karmically or something you've manifested for yourself uh, in the next 30 days. I really like these kinds of insights, um, not because they're like, oh, no, lessons, but more so it kind of helps us get a uh, broader perspective on things, and then we can go and shift the energies if we so choose. So let's go ahead and see here. So one time I did an uh, insight or a reading for myself. I pulled all these cards out, and my insight was horrible. It was, like, awful. Like, I got all of the worst cards. And I was like, oh, my goodness, okay, something has to change here, right? And so what I did is I pulled a card. I'm like, okay, what, what can I do to change this? And basically it was saying, okay, do this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay. And I sat there for a minute, and I got really determined about changing it. And I visualized myself doing it, and I made that decision to do it. 
to do you know, the work that the cards told me to. Um, and then I did another spread, and it was totally changed. It was all, not, not all positive, but it was a lot better, a lot better. So that's what I kind of like about these insights, is you can kind of shift the energies of the future. Okay, so what lessons will be manifesting? Again, we have the woman card here again. Okay, it's very crucial. All right, these are the lilies. This has to do with, um, it can be fun, it can be sexuality, uh, it can be older wisdom, right? Oh, we have the bridge. Okay, the bridge is a little bit of a, a little bit of a tougher card. It's It has to do with, um, kind of like your cross to bear. Uh, we have the fish and fox. Okay, so, oh! card that just popped out was home. We're going to actually go ahead and use that because it did present itself. Okay, let's see here. Okay, yeah, home did pop out, so we're just going to keep that in the back of our mind. Okay, so I would look at this again as the emotions, the feminine side, but also as yourself, right? Whenever these cards come up, this is kind of you. Okay, so, hmm, so in regards to, this can be taken many different ways. In regards to intimate relationships, it's going to be a heavy cross to bear due to an abundance of slyness in the home, okay? So those of you who have girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands and wives, there may be some, some lessons coming up in regards to the relationship in the home. This is also home life, right? If this isn't an intimate relationship, you can take this as relationships in general in the home are going to be seeing a, a bit of manipulation. There's going to be a bit of manipulative tongue, right? Think of like a foxy individual. It doesn't really evoke nice feelings, right? So let's go and look at this again. So, yeah, overall, the cross to bear here is the abundance of this manipulation or this slyness, right? What you're encouraged to do is to bring your wisdom and accrued knowledge, bring an abundance of it with you into the home. Okay, so whether you, you've you read, you know, some psychology or you've learned a bit about uh, facial um, postures and, and gestures or someone's body language, what it means that their arms are crossed like this versus this versus this, right? If you know that kind of that detail or if you've just experienced and seen some stuff and you know how to, how to read people, um, they're telling you to bring that energy with you into the home life. The home life doesn't actually only mean where you sleep and eat. This can also mean where's your foundation, okay? So where's your foundation? Your foundation can mean your job, your health, your money, etc. Okay, so overall this is bringing wisdom into the home and being aware of slyness or trickery or manipulation in the home life, okay? Bring, away, bring awareness to it and be wise when you handle it. Okay, so that was the lesson. Alright, that was the lesson. Now let's see the blessing. Right? This is the fun part. What's the blessing for the next 30 days? Oh, okay. Well, this is literally... This, <laughs> this card literally means blessings. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, this is the child. New beginnings. Oh, that is amazing. It can also be rebirth. And we have the fish. This is an abundance. And let's do two more. This is garden, community... And this is the bridge. Okay. Well, okay. All right, all right. So again, this kind of correlates to the first, um, what do we need to know in the beginning of this video? This kind of, there is a correlation, a thread of correlation in here. So this is saying the blessings of new beginnings will be in abundance when it comes to your community. And this is going to lead you on a new path. This is, it's kind of like a, um, Kind of like when you start a new job, you have to really bust your bust your butt for the first three months because you got to get things right and good. This is kind of like that. This new beginning, you're going to have to really pick it up a bit. If you've been kind of dragging your heels slightly or not applying yourself in all areas, on all levels of your being, right? This is telling you, hey, now may be the time to kind of kick up your heels, okay? But there, this is a blessing. This is definitely a blessing, right? Because... This again, this is new, new community. Okay, the blessing is in abundance, right? The blessing 
is also this challenge, right? This challenge that will be manifesting itself later, getting slight chills here, it is a blessing. It is a blessing because lessons do lead to blessings, okay? So it's that balance, right? It's that, it's that cycle. Lessons to blessings, lessons to lessons, okay? So let's go ahead and just do one more layer because I am really enjoying this read. It's it's really kind of flicking for me. I like this. So let's see one more layer here. Again, we have the lily card. This is wisdom. All right. Oh, these two came out by themselves. Okay, we have wisdom, the stork, fox, and home. Okay, well, this can be taken as the elder, whoever the elder may be in the home, whoever the um, moneymaker, breadwinner may be in the home, is going to be traveling out, is going to be leaving due to sly little foxes in the home. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so this can be a blessing because lessons do lead to blessings, right? But let's look at this again. Again, the emphasis is on bringing awareness to manipulation in the home, okay? So, again, this is the wise fox, right? The wise fox. So this is encouraging you to bring awareness to that, that negative energy, but also to take on that positive energy of the fox medicine, right? Fox can be both light and shadow. It's just you need to take on the light side and be aware of the shadow side of it. Okay, that's coming up. And there is a lot of movement in the home. Okay, so this could literally mean you're going to be moving houses. This could mean a change of scenery. This could be uh, living in a motel for a few weeks, okay? This could mean many different things, but this is someone's leaving the home. Someone's leaving the home. That's very interesting stuff here. All right, one more card, one last little droplet. We have cutting away. There's a definite cutting away that is coming, a definite reaping, right? This needs to be done because of that new beginning that showed itself earlier. So... Again, we have some really positive change com changes coming up. 2020 is a massive year. 2020 is all about clear vision, transparency. So, all right. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm uh, excited to see how this all manifests for us. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a blessed, blessed, blessed week.